there are times when I check the channel page of different people just to see if there's any comments on there that I might need to deal with, uh, comments that I might want to handle. And I ran across such a comment the other day, and I want to uh, deal with it now, uh, showing something that I've said all along, the Seventh-day Adventists do not know their own history, what their own so-called prophet had to say, and that I'm far more versed in the history of the Seventh-day Adventist organization than their own members are, or the majority of their own members anyway. Uh, now let me get to the point here and show you what I'm talking about. There, this person by the name of Jesus for Truth, who made a comment on a video put up by some of the Adventist member by the name of JKW733. And here is the comment uh, that Jesus for Truth made. And I quote Do you know that Adventists believe everyone would be lost in, in the end times and receive the mark of the beast because they are not keeping, uh, they are not Sabbath keeping Adventists? Uh, didn't you know that? I can prove it with a question you're going to ask any Adventist. Can you be saved by faith in Jesus in end times if you attend churches on Sunday and not on Sabbath? According to EGW, that's Ellen G. White, according to EGW and Adventist, Christians who love Jesus, who trust in Jesus, will be rejected and lost in end times and receive the mark of the beast. Uh, end quote. Now, JKW 733 comes back and says this to Jesus for Truth, and I quote, Either back up your allegations here with reliable and verifiable documents, or be gone. Your choice for now. So, once again, to show that I know more about the Seventh-day Adventist organization and the history of the Seventh-day Adventist organization than any member on YouTube, especially JKW 733, I uh, found the evidence that he was looking for, and so let me present it to him. And naturally, he'll deny it, and uh, he'll twist the scriptures, and he'll jump up and down, holler and scream, but the facts are facts. And this is taken from the great controversy of 1888 in a chapter called The Final Warning, where Ellen White is speaking, and she says this, and I quote, The Sabbath will be the great test of loyalty, for it is the point of truth especially controverted. When the final test shall be brought to bear upon men, then the line of distinction will be drawn between those who serve God and those who serve Him not. While the observation of the false Sabbath in compliance with the laws of the state, <coughs> contrary to the fourth commandment, will be a vow of, of allegiance to powers that is in opposition to God. Keeping of the true Sabbath in obedience to God's law is, an, is evidence of loyalty to the Creator. From one class, well, that is, while one class, by accepting the sign of submission to earthly powers, receive the mark of the beast, the others choose the token of allegiance to divine authority and receive the seal of God. End quote. Of course, she's referring to the Sabbath here, and that if you don't keep the Sabbath, you're going to be lost, you're going to receive the mark of the beast. And she called the Sabbath the seal of God here, which the Sabbath is not the seal of God. The seal of God is the Holy Spirit. So JKW 733, there's your evidence. What you need to do is, is to get into the history of the Seventh-day Adventist organization and see what these people are saying that you know nothing about. Uh, once again, Ben Golly just has to uh, silence some of these critics who get upset when I say I know more about their own history. And once again, I've shown that to be a fact. Until next time, this has been Godly saying, God bless.